Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to share with you five niche brands that if you like gourmet fragrances, you need to try them. You need to start looking into these five brands. We're going to have six actually because one, it's an honorable mention. You're going to understand late, later, okay? Um, we've got in here five niche brands that basically they are the masters of gourmands if you ask me okay i tested pretty much every single gourmand that's on the market and these brands they don't have one they don't have two or three they have many 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 gourmand fragrances to choose from so before we start before we start and i'm telling you all of these amazing brands uh if you like this video if you like my youtube channel if you like what i do if you like gourmands don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, five brands. The first one, Theodoros Calotinis. You know that I absolutely love this one. I've been loving the brand for a very long time now. I chose for each brand three fragrances that I feel like they're just delicious, they're amazing, they're, yes, you need to try them. They do have way more gourmand fragrances and way more fragrances in general but these three are my favorites first one creme brulee it's literally creme brulee and uh coconut the next one this one's a bit more expensive okay this one in particular is from a different line from the extra line the other ones the eau de parfum they're way more affordable they're 45 pounds lemon tart literally it just smells like lemon tart i need a new bottle this is like my fourth fifth Nobody knows I went through so many bottles of this one. And the last, the last one, and my favorite for the longest time. Like, this was my first love with Theodore Scalotini's. Again, this is my fourth bottle. Coffee Addict. It literally smells like coffee with, like, caramel, like a coffee syrup. And then I'm getting a little bit of tiramisu as well. It's delicious. It's super, super realistic and super gourmand. I'm not going to do full reviews because I already reviewed all of these fragrances, okay? Uh, I'm just going to briefly mention the bronze and then my top fragrances. Next brand, Omnia Profumi. Pretty much nobody talks about Omnia Profumi. I don't understand why the fragrances are a beast, first of all, and second, they know how to do gourmands. They do have way much more than these ones. I pretty much everything that I featured from the brand on my channel is a gourmand. Madeira is the sweetest, most syrupy coconut and caramel. Coconut, caramel, vanilla, but it's sticky, 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 sweet, an absolute beast. The next one, which is a bit more tropical, but I absolutely love it, it's Perla. Perla, it's tiari flower and milk, but it feels like a like a caramelized tiari flower. It's it's exotic. It's you know beachy, but it's not too floral for sure. It's definitely definitely very gourmand. It's actually like caramelized tiari with milk. And the last one, rame. Rame is your burnt sugar burnt caramel with a little bit of that Baccarat Rouge vibe. So think of Baccarat Rouge but with lots and lots and lots of caramel and burnt sugar. Oh, it's delicious. And all of these ones, they are beast mode. They are, I think it says it's Eau, it's eau de Parfum. This is not Eau de Parfum. This is the Le Parfum of the Le Parfum. They are that strong, that, that powerful. I only have the 30 ml for all of these ones and they last. Like, with a 30 ml, you're good to go. If you like sugary sweet perfumes, try Omnia Profumi. Moving on. Sphinx. They actually, they have a new release that is coming to me very, very soon because we placed an order on the website, okay? Um, and then I placed an order for the pistachio one as well because that's another one that I never tested, I never tried. We start, I basically started working with them first as like PR and then I smelled them and was like, I need to bring this brand to, to the U UK, okay? So if you live in the UK, actually all of these brands are available. Strawberry Sugar High. It's strawberry bubblegum mixed in 
with strawberry milkshake. This is what I'm getting. It's delicious. Just look at my bottle. It's almost empty. Yeah, I love it. Orchata de Vani. I actually, when I went to Spain, I had orchata. I can't really say that. Like the taste of it, but the smell. This is like a chai latte. I know exactly how orchata is made, okay? But for me, it smells like that concept of like chai latte with cinnamon, bit of rice as well, but then you're getting some vanilla as well. It's delicious. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it literally smells just like that. And then the next one, chocolate citronic is literally chocolate orange. It's the most realistic chocolate orange, exactly those chocolates, you know in the shape of an orange and it tastes like chocolate orange you know what i'm talking about i'm pretty sure you know what i'm talking about delicious delicious especially for fall and winter like mm, what can be more christmasy than this you know i know it's it's not christmas time yet it's still october but i'm planning i'm already planning my fragrances all right the next brand juice uh, pretty much everything that they have in their collection at the moment it's a gourmand they know how to do their gourmands they're incredible and the newest release is ciao bello pistachio is the most realistic pistachio ice cream they're gonna find it's literally the pistachio and the waffle cone and it's absolutely divine it's just divine Moving on from Jusette, we have Accident La Vanille, which was my first love. I purchased it ages ago. They had the old packaging. It was love a first sniff. It was a blind buy for me. Accident La Vanille, it's this rich vanilla. And for some reason, I'm getting some biscoff as well. Like this like biscuity thing about it. It's not just vanilla. It's just not your plain vanilla is different and it's so sexy and so alluring and mm, mm, delicious and obviously we cannot forget about Le Gourmand Nutella spread it literally smells like Nutella is delicious you do have others you have La Tartata you have African Queen you do have so so many from Jose uh, but these three in particular are my my absolute absolute favorite ones the next brand and the last one well, we do have the honorable mention, but this is a brand that pretty much nobody talks about. They only have five fragrances and all of them are gourmands. My favorite ones, So Vanilla from Private Mood. So Vanilla is kind of their take on Lira from Zerjov. But this one has some gingerbread as well. So it's a bit more complex, if you ask me. Slightly more complex. And it's more dense than lira like it, it still has the vanilla it still has that orangey lemony cake like cheesecake but you can definitely see that that other like, cakes almost in the background you know in the base um it's delicious it's yeah i i just love it i love it the next one and my favorite one i'll say velvet coco velvet coco for me smells like um, the perfume version of Sol de Janeiro, Coco Cabana, they changed the name, they discontinued that one. That's the perfect, like, Raffaello type of coconut, okay? It's delicious. It's very, like, it's, mm, it's, it's absolutely delicious. Don't think it's coconut water or, like, goes into, like, sun tan lotion. No, it's pure, like, coconut candy. It's delicious, super sugary, super sweet. And the last one... It's actually Berylicious. I personally love Berylicious. I know that it's not popular at all. Literally nobody talks about it. Uh, but this one in particular, I don't know what I did to my bottle. Uh, this one in particular, for me, smells like a berry smoothie. This is what I'm getting. It's a berry smoothie. They do have another one. They have a uh, cotton candy. And then they have one that's uh, vanilla cognac, which is like boozy, super, super, super boozy vanilla. But this three, this three I just love. And now... The honorable mention, just because they have released only one fragrance, they've been on the market for some time. But in Cannes, I smell the new releases for 2024 and the new releases for 2025. And everything is gonna be delicious. Mezomataha. Obviously, we have Escape Gourmand, which 
it's again creme brulee it's not the same as creme brulee from theodoros because this one has some coconut this one is definitely more vanilla and it's a bit thicker on that vanilla you know but the new releases just wait for them just be ready just be ready because they are i have two of them here i can't show you sorry sorry um but this brand you need to keep an eye on it because they're gonna release obviously this one is gorgeous and delicious but they're gonna release even more gorgeous delicious new fragrances and that was it for today guys that was it uh let me know in the comments down below which are your favorite brands okay for delicious gourmand niche perfumes uh it doesn't necessarily need to be niche but i feel like designers that's why they include in designers they do mainly like flower scents they don't really go into this like super super edible realistic gourmands um and it's something that I absolutely love and it's something that i know that lots of you love this type of scent uh but yeah these five brands are amazing 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 and the sixth one kind of mezomataha as well uh but yeah let me know in the comments down below okay and that was it for today thanks for watching if you like this video obviously don't forget to give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next one Bye bye